Greetings everyone, my name is Zatterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sikari Remastered. During the last episode, we beat Niskura and saved the land of Paradia, which opened up a new path in this palace. I'm assuming there is a bonus boss battle at the end. Whoa, that was a loud shriek. The statue eyes are glowing now. And the UI is blood red. Gods cannot die. Is this Niskura's revenge? Welcome to the post game. Say hello to this mysterious starscape. Bonus Chapter 1 Lapis City. Who is this character? What's going on? Why are the Hostake here? Wait a minute. Is this a flashback? Are we playing as Sikari when she was younger? Or are we playing as Scarlet before she became a vampire? I still maintain my health upgrade from before, so these enemies shouldn't pose too much of a threat. They're basic Hostaka minions. Clear out the enemies first. And rush forwards. Sheesh, that was a close one. The Lunar Cult. Is this Niskura's backup plan? Or is this Dead Tatus' plan? Eclipse and Gracie. What an odd duo. <laughs> oh. 
Bonus Chapter 2, Finding the Temple Hmm, this background seems a bit familiar. It's like we've been here before. I love the stage team playing in the background. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game. I think this reminds me of Chapter 3. Remember the city I explored back there? It's like we are between there and Chapter 4's location. Continuity. Oh, it's an auto-scroller. Seeing how lore-based this game is, is a neat touch. Do I need that P-switch? Guess not. Soror? We found the temple. Now it's time to enter the Lunar Shrine. In Bonus Chapter 3. Huh. We're playing as Eclipse now. She functions exactly the same as Gracie. Oh no, invisible gaps. I'm gonna die several times here. That's dead number one. Invisible gaps are my weak point in SMW hacks. Let's estimate how many pairs of shoes I'll lose here. Paul says seven. Jaden says three.
Any one hit will end me now. How did I not fall into a pit there? That's that number two. Death number three. Oops. Death number four. Missed time I jump. Death number five. Whoops. Looks like Paul's estimate is coming true. Also, I just realized, are there two moons in the background? Could this be the aforementioned ancient shrine before it was abandoned and fell into disrepair? This is clearly a different faction. Why else would the whole Stake be attacking us? The question is, why does Eclipse want to visit this shrine? Is this going to turn into Majora's Mask or something, where the moon is trying to destroy the world? I don't really prefer invisible gaps in Mario games, unless we have a tool or something which can expose them. Thankfully, this is not the worst instance. The gaps in the floors are designated via these coins and enemies, so it's not a guessing game. I was by the exit all along. I was between Paul and Jaden's guesses. So Soror is one of the moons. Speaking of which, it's time for what's likely the next boss battle. Bonus Chapter 4, Soror. The moon is dead. However, there are traces of a civilization long gone. Remember what you were talking about earlier, Sylveon? We are on the moon now. No cheese in sight, sadly. No low gravity either. Kind of a missed opportunity, if you were to ask me. He's on the other moon, Jaden. Don't worry, he'll escape in X years. Bad idea. Jeez, the hitboxes are really in my favor. That muncher should have hit me.
perhaps we'll encounter some surviving members of this civilization, or some descendants. Maybe that's what the Lunar Cult is. Sorry, Gracie. Come on, Eclipse. Don't be rude. Purify the moon? I don't like the sound of that. Don't forget Volnut. World clear? This was shorter than I thought. Wait, what? Where are we now? Did we just enter the Mega Man 8 stage select screen? Alright, short pause. Next time, I'll complete this world and beat the post game, and then give my overall thoughts on the game as a whole. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.